Well, Patrick, we're going to see a wintry mix here. Snow, sleet, freezing rain, and then eventually heavy, plain old rainfall that will also be accompanied by some stronger wind gusts. Still, precipitation just out of view on live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar. Roadways are dry in Rhode Island and southeastern Massachusetts. If we expand the view, uh, out a bit, you can see where the leading edge of snow and sleet just starting to make its way into western Connecticut right now. So we don't see any of that activity before our morning commute is over with the leading edge of some light snow developing closer to 10 o'clock in the morning from west to east. And from there, it'll continue to uh, fall midday mixing with and making that change over to rain. So we end up with not much snow, a coating near the coastline, possibly as much as one, two inches, isolated three inch totals inland. That gets washed away by the rain, half an inch to an inch of rainfall and the winds gusting to 50 miles per hour between five and 10 o'clock this evening. Our temperatures right now running in the 20s. Got a lot of cold air to overcome here before we see that change over to rain, especially inland where that cold air will linger longer. And it's that area that's under the winter weather advisory until six o'clock this evening because it's not just the snow but the potential for some ice accumulations and here's the area shaded in pink the western part of Kent County up uh, north and west of Providence along and west of 295 where uh, maybe uh, five hundredths to a tenth of an inch of ice on top of the snow is expected so that's a real slippery scenario for us so 10 o'clock in the morning clouds and maybe some flurries developing noon we've got that wintry mix snow inland at the coastline seeing a quick change over to rain and then two o'clock in the afternoon at 33 degrees with rain sleet and freezing rain expected four in the afternoon most areas have made the change over to plain rain and at six o'clock in the evening that's certainly expected as well here's the center of our storm making its way up towards west virginia right now it's on a path to track over us here in southeastern new england and that will put the heaviest snowfall totals more towards areas north of the Mass Pike and especially ski country. They could get foot of snow around here, according to an inch south of Providence, Providence and points north and west one to three, leaning more towards one to two isolated three inch amounts. And again, that gets washed away. So wouldn't even bother trying to really clean it up. As we look at our temperatures, starting to work our way into the 30s here later this morning. Snow at lunchtime, reduced visibility, slippery travel expected. Notice at 2 o'clock, that wintry mix in Providence, rain to the south, snow to the north. That dividing line between the rain and snow will continue to lift northward through the afternoon. Don't like that 33 degrees, though, in Woonsocket. It's still cold enough at 4 o'clock that we could be seeing some freezing rain, especially in northern Rhode Island. And then in the evening hours, as those temperatures climb into the 40s and possibly even briefly in the 50s, we've got heavy soaking rain. This is 10 o'clock in the evening. And it all moves out by about midnight tonight, and we'll see clearing skies behind that with a rapid drop in temperatures. So if you're making your plans for travel today, the highest impact right around the middle of the day. So we'll start to see the conditions deteriorating by about lunchtime and still some tough travel for the late afternoon and evening. Here's the winds that we're expecting with this system. And again, they really start to pick up after five o'clock in the evening, south and southeasterly winds gusting at times over 50 miles per hour. They'll turn to the north and west as our storm departs and they will be gusty, but not as strong overnight tonight. So that windswept rain for your evening hours, temperatures into the mid and upper 40s for a time, but then falling back to below the freezing mark by dawn tomorrow morning. So that's why we're concerned about some black ice for late tonight and tomorrow morning's commute. Otherwise, it's a sunny and cool day for tomorrow with highs only near the freezing mark. Friday, a few snow showers possible by late in the day and night, maybe a rain shower on Saturday, but a more widespread rainfall for Sunday. Weekend temperatures jump up close to 50. Your full future cast 